Hello and welcome to another session, this time on how to do loops in Ansible. So we're going to start by writing a playbook to create a list of users using a loop. Then we're going to add in a UID for each user just to extend the loop. And then we're going to man move those user IDs and usernames into a variables file. And then we're going to add the password using vault. So you can use the user module. And again, Ansible docs, always worth looking up. There's loads of examples, tells you all the options. So well, I'm going to write it out, but you literally can just copy and paste exactly what you need. So let's start by creating the playbook for the users and let's go. So it's just a standard playbook start, you know, with the host and connections. Um, we are going to need to elevate privileges because we're going to create users and that is a uh, a, a sort of a privileged thing so we're going to become yes so that we can utilize root access okay so now we're going to actually just put the task in and this is where we're going to implement that loop function so we'll leave users blank yeah we'll leave that blank come back to that in a second once we finish this you'll actually see that you can add in you can use loops and they, they're quite clever you know you can actually add in quite a lot of information and loop through all of the information okay right so now we're going to actually do the loop section notice I've left the name blank for now so what you need to do you just need to give it a list of users in this case but this could be anything it could you, you can use loop with most modules so we're just going to give it some usernames and then now that we've got our usernames to reference the loop items we call it item and that's it I'll also update the comments as well so it's literally just refer to it as item So let's save that, run that. Okay, lovely. And we can see that they've been created by looking at the password file, PASSWD. Okay, so the next step is to um, make the loop include the username and the UID and then utilize that back inside the task and you can do it here so it's actually a filter oh, actually we'll move on to filters yeah so it's there's an example of loops there so if you just do Ansible loop you can actually pick this up and literally cut and paste examples out of there so I'm gonna do something very similar And I'll create one line and I'll just copy it down and update the details. Okay, just update those. So this is going to change what we're using. So previously we used item to reference it, but now we can't do that because there's too many variables in there. So now you simply do item.name and item.uid and it will pick up each each variable in turn as it goes through the loop. So you see we add it in. Now I've actually f not going to update something on purpose to see if you guys can work out what's missing. Okay, so we're going to run this again, but it will fail. Do you know why it's going to fail before I run it? Okay, so the error is 
the user so it's an invalid field user so if we look at here we can see that in the comment section I'm not doing I'm not following the same convention so I need to add dot name in because obviously it's picking it up as it goes through the list so now if we rerun there we go but because I've actually already created the users we can see that the UID is one update so let's just go in and do an absent which will for the state that will remove them and put them back in again okay if we run that that will get rid of them that's it as you can see they're gone go back in and change to present this time the UIDs will update okay that looks good okay so now we're going to take the variables out of the playbook yeah yeah so you can see that the username's there and bash profile it's all working so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the variables out of the playbook and add in and put them into a user list so it's simply taking the same information formatting it slightly differently and then we're going to use that back in the loop and we're just going to reference the users in this file Nice simple, just write out the details. And once we've done this, we just need to modify what we've done in our task in the playbook. Okay, so let's go back into our playbook. So now, so those where we have that loop at the bottom, we don't need any of those anymore, so we'll get rid of them. And then we just reference the loop file. Now again, I'm going to miss something out here. Can you tell what it is when we run it? Okay, so let's run it and see. Did you get it? So users is undefined because we haven't referenced the file. So we haven't referenced the variables file. So if we go back up to the top, we can use vars underscore file. And we reference the file name. And rerun it. I've got another error. Ah, yes, so I've called the file the wrong name. So it shouldn't be users file user files, it should be user list. So let's go back and update that. There we go. So now it should just run straight through and pick up the variables from the user the user variable file. And there we go. So they're already there, so they're green, but we can see that that's worked. So let's just remove them again and put them back in again to show, just to prove that the code does work. And they're gone. Put them back in. And there they go. Lovely. Right. So this is all coming on very nicely. We've looped in the playbook. We've now taken that loop back out to a, a, a variable file in a list. And now we're going to create the password for the users. So we're going to create a secrets.yaml file. And so it's going to be user underscore password and then change me. Save that. And then we're going to encrypt this file with Ansible Vault. And we're going to encrypt and the password we're going to give it is just password one two three confirm that lovely okay we see that that file's now been encrypted we can't read it so let's go back in and now we need to add in the password so the first thing to do is actually add in the list the the, the variable file the secrets.yaml and then we're going to reference yeah that is what I called it and then we have to add in the password so this is all part of um, it's a playbook filter that we're, that we're about to use and I'll show you the link to that in a second so we now add in password 
We link to the variable that was in secrets.yaml file. Then we're actually going to do a password hash. And I'll just grab the link in a second and put that up for you. So we're going to do a password hash from the SHA 512. Save that. Okay, so if you look at playbook filters and you just search for password hash, you can see that that is the line there. So it's that all we're doing is just literally cutting a paste now and putting our own values in. So, yeah, it's always recommended to look at the documentation for Ansible because it's very good. Okay, now if we save this and run the playbook. And that will fail. Yep, so we need to add in the uh, ask vault pass at the end. And give it the password, and then that should go off and then update the users all with passwords. Yep. And if we check the shadow file, we should be able to see that there's a hash password in there. Oh, as root, see that. And there it is. So we've got a hash password. Let's test to see if the password works. So become one of the users or try to SSH as one. Or SU. There we go, so we're on. Let's come back out. Let's try another one, make sure. And there it is, change me, and we're in. Boom. So it works. So there you have it. So we started by creating a simple um, some simple user list using a loop. We extended that and added in the UIDs. We moved the UIDs into oh yeah let's just take them out and put them all back in again to make sure it works we so we put the users and uids into a variables file and then we added a password to use to the users and we tested our login you know so you loops can be used on almost any ansible module um, they make ansible extremely versatile so you should try them out on your other playbooks and let me know how it goes um, yeah if you want to also vault the password and then use the password file you can just check out my videos and i'll show you how to use vault properly on one of the other ones so to see more tutorials like this just hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video